Hello, we're back with the second update of our LEGO Minecraft world. Today we'll be exploring the various skin changes, biome additions, and set additions that we've made to our Minecraft world. Before we get started, I want to mention that we've started our very own Instagram account where we post the updates and changes to our Minecraft world. You can follow us at LEGO Minecraft Bros. No capitals, no spaces. LEGO Minecraft Bros on Instagram. So now let's start our update right in the corner here where we started last time with our desert. So there haven't been many updates to our desert aside from the fact that we've added these prickly bushes that came with the village set and some more of these brown bushes. We've also added a third cactus to add more environmental elements. And then you may notice that we have, so, uh, throughout the tour you may notice that we have some skins that uh, lack Steve heads. The reason for this is because we've set up the skins, we've placed them in the world, but we're waiting to get the heads uh, when we order them from Bricklink in a couple of months. So now if we move over down here to the mushroom biome, you'll notice that we've added a few more small mushrooms and also the warrior that we originally had in the nether, we took him out of there and we added him to be interacting with a mushroom. So now if you come all the way back down, you can see that we've updated our bridge to make it look more appealing. And we still have our little kid inside there. However, we've given him an iron sword instead of a wooden sword that he had last time. So we haven't made any updates to the farm over here or the, uh, the pig enclosure right there. But if you come to the, uh, the jungle area, you'll notice that we have a skin waiting for a head and also... If you come to the side, over here, there is the much-awaited nether portal that we've uh, added, and you have a wither skeleton walking out of there. He escaped his nether dimension, and he's coming to wreak havoc on the modern world. So now also up here in the uh, crafting box table-built tower, you have our super warrior that used to be in the nether. Uh, or I mean used to be in the end and we put him up here and then also by the jungle you can see that we've added a new tree and also a jungle bush to add more environmental elements and then down by the uh, snowy biome there's not much changes aside from the fact we've added a few more ice blocks just again more environmental stuff make it look more realistic and with the game so you can also see in the snowy biome that we have a yeti skin added with holding a torch and also by the end portal you can see we've added a shield to the uh, the steve warrior it's a custom shield made from some one by one flat tiles we think it adds a nice variety and keeps our world up to date with the current updates so now if you come down to the front of our world here you'll notice that we have the villager outpost which came from the uh, the villager, trading uh, the, uh, the trading post which came with the village set. So basically here you just have some items up for sale, a villager waiting to do some business with this Steve here, and a set full of emeralds. We've also moved our uh, armor stand over to behind the cave because it will cover up some of the ugliness that you had before over there. Not many more changes over in this area. Um, however, yep, we have an Enderman over here, and then also, what you've all been waiting for, the much-awaited village set. So over here, we've incorporated all of the buildings into our world. We have the blacksmiths over here, with soon-to-be testificate man on top, that's a custom make. And you can see that we can open the blacksmith, like so. An element animation. Yep, and we also have a nice well over here with a custom skinned pink spacesuit Alex holding a pickaxe. A uh, little villager getting chased by his former friend, but unfortunately bitten, uh, unfortunately bitten by a zombie, and now he's chasing him around. Oh, that mm. friendship ended. So sad. And over here we have the library with a creeper on top. It has some bookshelves inside. We won't go into that with too much detail and then over here we have the butcher shop and we've added a flower pot with some nice pumpkins on display and then right here we've also added we've taken the pig that's come with the village set and put 
a brown, uh, put a brown plate instead of a pink plate, so it acts as a saddle, and little superhero Steve riding around with a carrot on a stick, so he's commanding the pig where to go. Uh, so if you come backwards into our world, you'll notice that we've added the lookout tower with the Steve Archer that used to be on our custom build on the top. And we've added kind of like a stone biome here that's right outside of the cave. We have some mushrooms and also a little miner in the corner with his diamond pickaxe. And then also last time we had said that we had started on the Mesa biome and now we've made some, uh, some pretty big improvements. We've added clay mountains. We have an iron golem there, another Steve working away. However, we do need to get some of this dark tan brick so we can make it look more realistic along this edge, maybe make some like spikes out. And also we need to fill in the gaps right here. And to the savanna, we've added a zombie and a savanna tree that doesn't really match with any of the other trees that we built. And over here, we have a, um, a nice new dirt spruce tree sapling biome. We have some mossy cobblestone over here and we, we're not really sure if we want to keep it in this location, so in the comments if you could say if you like it or if you want us to move it uh, somewhere else in the world, that would be great so we know uh, what you guys think about what we should do with it. And then finally, what we'll, look out, uh, what we'll look at up here is we have this giant space that's quarantined off from the rest of the world. The reason for this is because we're waiting to get the Lego Minecraft Fortress and we've counted these studs, this is exactly where it will fit and as soon as September comes we're going to get the set and we're going to put it right here and it'll act as the front piece to our whole Minecraft world. Now, before we go, let me announce something very exciting. Many of you in the comments on our last video said that you wished for us to have a stop motion series. So if you come over here, you can see the, the starting for this series. So basically, what's going to happen is there's a new outbreak with all the mobs. And they're super invincible. They don't burn in the daylight. You can barely kill them with any normal weapons. So now, all the villagers and the players must cooperate together to find a way to defeat these dangerous monsters. And you'll find out more about that when we release our stop motion video series coming soon. Thanks guys, that's all for now. We'll see you next time when we've made more improvements to our Minecraft mock. And make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe.